All right, AI tinkerers and open source sorcerers, today we're putting Olama and LM Studio in a head to head. Two local LLM runners, one goal to make your laptop whisper sweet nothings to you without melting it. Olama looks like it wants to be your minimalist friend who drinks matcha and journals. One terminal command and boom, you're running a local LLM. Smooth install, clean output, and good vibes. LM Studio, on the other hand, it's the cool nerd at the back of the class who built their own keyboard and refuses to use Chrome. It has a GUI, model browser, token count, GPU stats, like Olama's louder, more feature-packed sibling. Olama's ridiculously easy. Olama, run LLAMA3, and you're in. No menus, no distractions. It's like ChatGPT. If ChatGPT lived in your terminal, rent-free. LM Studio, though, it's for the visual thinkers. You can load GGUFs, see model details, tweak settings, and yes, switch models without sacrificing your sanity. But it also gives you options that make you question your entire existence. Do I want Mistral 7B V01 Q5 underscore K underscore M? I don't know, but I clicked it anyway. Now, both are fully local, so your weird prompts about alien sushi restaurants aren't leaving your device, and I love that. Olama handles memory management pretty well, but if your machine's underpowered, some models will still roast your RAM and leave you with a fan screaming louder than your inner critic. LM Studio gives you a bit more transparency. It shows exactly what model you're using, how many tokens you've crunched in when your GPU decides to tap out. Olama's for the I just want to run a model without an existential crisis crowd, writers, coders, prompt dabblers, you're welcome. LM Studio, it's for the modders, the tweakers, the people who want to load five models side by side just to compare how they answer. What's the meaning of life? It's got more knobs, more visuals, more control, but yeah, slightly more brain required. Final verdict? I think Olama is a smooth talking, low maintenance partner you can trust. And LM Studio is a nerdy overachiever who gives you the whole toolbox and expects you to know what a wrench is. Personally, I keep both. One for fast local chats, one for when I want to tinker at 2 a.m. with 4 gigabytes of VRAM and a dream. Let me know which one you're using or breaking in the comments. Like, subscribe, and tell your laptop you love it. It's doing its best.